Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Thomas in Beijing. Today I'm going to tell you how to find an accommodation in Beijing. But before this, you need to know how to open a bank account in China and also how to translate a web page. If you don't know how to do this, you can just check my previous video. But about accommodation, when you are a student, you have basically two solutions. Live on campus or outside the campus. If you decide to live on campus, it's really easy, everything is provided by the university and you just need to pay for your accommodation, that's it. If you want to live outside the campus, it's quite different. First, you have two solutions to find your accommodation, with an agency or without an agency. I decided to go with an agency. The agency I choose called Homelink or also Zeroom if you check their website. Their website is in Chinese, that's why you need to use your new translator and translate into your own language. Now it's in your own language, you just need to find the room you want. If you cannot decide online and you need to go and see the room, I mean in real, you just need to go to Homelink and ask to visit this apartment or this room. But attention, they don't speak English, that's why you need to bring your Chinese friend or your translator. Now you finish to visit the few rooms and you have one you really like. The next step is you need to go online on Zeroom and book it. To book it, you need to give 1000 yuan, which will be reduced from the amount you need to pay after. But attention, some people don't want to visit the room and just book it online then it's kind of competition, you need to be the first to book this room. That's why if you really like one, just go online and book it. The other thing really important is you need to pay online, but they don't accept your credit card if you have Visa, Mastercard or American Express. That's why you need to have a bank account in China and have a union pay credit card. But if you don't have this, you can try to bargain with the guy and he uses his own credit card and you give him the cash or even with a friend but it's kind of hard, better to have your own account. The room is booked for you but now the next step are really important. First, you need to pay for the free next month for the rent plus approximately one month for the agency's fee. You only will pay this fee one time per year for me, this price including a cleaner twice a month for the share space like the bathroom and the kitchen. It's also including internet and the reparation if something is break in, in the apartment. The other bill like the electricity and the water, I will share it with my flatmate. Now you need your passport and maybe your admission notice from uni. With this paper, you will have your contract for your room. When you sign the contract, you can get your key. But it's not finished. Now you live outside the campus and you need to pay the tax. To pay the tax, you need your passport and your contract. The tax depends on the size of your room. The cheapest is 1,200 RMB. When you pay the tax, you will receive the tax receipt. With the tax receipt and your contract and the passport, you need to go to the police station to have a living certificate. This living certificate is free, but it's really important. You need to have it to register in uni. That's why, don't lose it. When you don't speak the language, it's kind of hard. That's why, ask to your Chinese friend or even to Homelink. They can help you to go through these different steps. Now all the administration is finish. You can go back to your room and start your installation. But you only pay it for the next three months. How you are going to pay it for the next? You just need to go to Zeroom and log onto your account and you will pay online as you did it before. Hey, you forget to subscribe or press like or comment below and let me know what you think about my video. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, you can follow me. Then see you next Sunday for a new video.